Gawla, South Australia. The woman who walks her dog at daybreak wakes the, the clock of both community and commerce. Colour creeps into the night cart lanes and climbs the spicy air through pepper trees. Murray Street swings and shifts with shoppers and the turn of traffic. An espresso coffee machine hisses in the bakery and a South End barman taps a new first keg of beer. The antique shop owner sweeps up all of morning's autumn colours in the fallen leaves of glory vine from his veranda, has an eye for beauty, regrets a transience he can't keep. On Church Hill someone is practising church bells for a wedding Saturday, a hand-pulled carolin of sound falling over everything like soft rain, a small blessing from unintentioned fingers. Across from where an old woman prunes her sixty-year-old rose bushes, a small child kicks up blue sky on a squeaky playground swing. The midday hour fixes them both on a kind canvas. Underneath the founder's pioneer statue, across from the post office, a young couple are eating fish and chips on the newly mown grass. Their eyes are for each other. Only air is cold. At four o'clock the town is fixed in a somnolence that waits the swing of commuter traffic back across the bridge. It is time for tea in the early evening paper. And at a certain time in the late afternoon when the sun sits low behind the river bank, Morton Bay figs in the apex park, there is a light that's pure gold and almost refinable. Night mists along a line of hills with wood smoke from the first of fires. A front gate clicks and a young woman is collecting mail while a man is walking a dog up Calton Hill and into stars. <laughs>